Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Genesis 1 verse 28 God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Psalm 145 verse 4 One generation commends your works to another, they tell of your mighty acts. Proverbs 13 verse 22 A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. Deuteronomy 6 verses 6 to 7 these commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Psalm 71 verse 18 Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation your mighty acts to all who are to come. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Psalm 78 verse 4 We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power, and the wonders he has done. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Psalm 90 verse 12 Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Isaiah 54 verse 13 All your children will be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. Proverbs 20 verse 7 The righteous lead blameless lives, blessed are their children after them. Titus 2 verses 7 to 8 in everything, set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. Deuteronomy 4 verse 9 Only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. Ephesians 6 verse 4 Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24. 
Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Proverbs 24 verses 3 to 4 By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established, through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Psalm 78 verse 6 So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Psalm 112 verse 2 Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. 2 Samuel 7 verse 29 Now be pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, Sovereign Lord, have spoken, and with your blessing the house of your servant will be blessed forever. Psalm 100 verse 5 for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Proverbs 3 verses 11 to 12. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights in. Deuteronomy 11 verses 18 to 19. Fix these words of mine in your hearts and minds. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3. Children, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. 3 John 1 verse 4 I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Colossians 3 verse 20 Children, Obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Psalm 127 verses 3 to 5 Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Proverbs 22 verse 1 A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Psalm 78 verse 7 So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Psalm 16 verse 6 The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 12 Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. 
In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20 Early in the morning they left for the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. Exodus 20 verse 12 Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Psalm 71 verse 17 Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Deuteronomy 4 verses 9 to 10 Only be careful, and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. Remember the day you stood before the Lord your God at Horeb, when he said to me, Assemble the people before me to hear my words so that they may learn to revere me as long as they live in the land and may teach them to their children. Malachi 4 verse 6 He will turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the hearts of the children to their parents, or else I will come and strike the land with total destruction. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 11 For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. Proverbs 17 verse 6 Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. 1 John 2 verse 1 My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. Deuteronomy 32 verse 7 Remember the days of old, consider the generations long past. Ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. Colossians 3 verse 16 let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Proverbs 4 verse 1 Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. Proverbs 23 verses 24 to 25 The father of a righteous child has great joy. A man who fathers a wise son rejoices in him. May your father and mother rejoice. May she who gave you birth be joyful. Psalm 127 verses 4 to 5 Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. Psalm 103 verse 17 But from everlasting to everlasting the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 15 even if you had ten thousand guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I became your father through the gospel. Proverbs 1 verses 8 to 9 
Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Psalm 37 verse 25 I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Proverbs 20 verse 11 Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Isaiah 38 verse 19 The living, the living they praise you, as I am doing today. Parents tell their children about your faithfulness. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 18 so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 2 Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Exodus 12 verses 26 to 27 And when your children ask you, What does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them, It is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord, who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshipped. 2 Timothy 3 verse 15 And how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Psalm 90 verses 16 to 17 May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us, yes. Establish the work of our hands. Proverbs 10 verse 1 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son brings grief to his mother. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Proverbs 15 verse 5 A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. 2 Timothy 1 verse 5 I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded, now lives in you also. Psalm 78 verses 5 to 6 He decreed statutes for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children, so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born and they in turn would tell their children. Matthew 19 verse 14 Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 14 Now I am ready to visit you for the third time, and I will not be a burden to you, because what I want is not your possessions, but you. After all, children should not have to save up for their parents, but parents for their children. Proverbs 6 verse 20 My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. 
Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Proverbs 1 verse 7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 22 verse 15 Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. Titus 2 verses 6 to 7 Similarly, encourage the young men to be self-controlled. In everything set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching show integrity, seriousness. Romans 8 verse 14 For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Proverbs 29 verse 15 a rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child left undisciplined disgraces its mother. Proverbs 1 verses 2 to 3 For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Psalm 144 verse 12 Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. 1 John 5 verses 2 to 3 this is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out His commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep His commands. And His commands are not burdensome. Proverbs 29 verse 17 Discipline your children, and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delights you desire. Psalm 78 verse 72 And David shepherded them with integrity of heart. With skillful hands he led them. Matthew 7 verse 11 If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? 1 Corinthians 14 verse 20 Brothers and sisters, stop thinking like children. In regard to evil, be infants, but in your thinking, be adults. Proverbs 13, verse 24. Whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. Psalm 103, verse 13. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Psalm 34 verse 11 Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 29 verse 21 A servant pampered from youth will turn out to be insolent. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Psalm 71 verses 5 to 6 For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11 When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. 
Psalm 127 verse 3. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. Ephesians 5 verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave Himself up for her. Proverbs 14 verse 26. Whoever fears the Lord has a secure fortress, and for their children it will be a refuge. 1 John 3 verse 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him.